Hey, I'm Paul McGowan. Been a wild day out there, and I'm going to take a moment with you and just answer a question. It's quiet in here. A lot of commotion going on outside. All right, let's see what we got. Oops, I think I ripped it a little bit. Uh, okay, Ron from the Netherlands writes, is there any advantage in using the direct stream memory player together with the DS DAC compared to ripping CDs and playing the digital files through the bridge? A direct stream DAC combo, as it seems to use the same technology, which of course is uh, that it converts it into a RAM buffer, and so you essentially have the same thing. Um, so Ron's question basically is, at the end of the day, is there any difference if properly executed to playing a CD, as long as it's going through a RAM buffer, uh, compared to a track that's say on a hard drive or being streamed going into a product like the Bridge. You know, the Bridge, uh, for those of you that don't know, is our network device. It takes uh, network audio stuff that comes over your home network or downloads uh, and, and plays that in, in digital audio. So here's the crazy thing, and this, this is going to open up a big can of worms. Bits are bits. We know that. If you, if you look at a digital data stream, it's going to be the same whether it was recorded on a hard drive or whether that hard drive was in Estonia and then transmitted over the Internet uh, you know, three times around the world and winds up over on this hard drive compared to this hard drive where it started. The bits are going to be the same as long as you don't have any errors, and, and we typically don't. So whether, whether you have something on your local computer or you're streaming it off the Internet, it shouldn't make any difference, yet it does. How could that be? Well, I, I don't have the space to talk a great deal about all the reasons, and there are a number of reasons. Timing is, is a big one, jitter. The jitter that comes out of a hard drive, and, and jitter being the, the timing of, of the, the, the bits that come out, um, if you would, the, the, as they space in and out, um, uh, and, and the noise that is created as we get these bits in, in, in perfect time, coming through the system. So jitter is certainly a big factor, but there's far more than that going on. Let's imagine uh, that the digital lens inside of our equipment, which uh, some of you know about and some of you don't, is actually doing its job, right? So a digital lens suggests that um, you have a source, let's, call, let's say a CD, and the CD is, you know, it's a laser and it's spinning, it's taking, uh, data off of an optical disc, and then it's going into a, a, a digital buffer. And let's say that buffer is uh, a gigabyte. So we're, and it's just a, a buffer is a memory, okay? We're gonna stuff it in here. So all of this is coming in at varying speeds, uh, and it's being stored into this, uh, this, um, this buffer. So at the output of the buffer, if we use a fixed low jitter clock, which is the advantage of a buffer, right, as opposed to a, uh, a simple FIFO, um, which just clocks what comes in, clocks it out later, right? Um, a, a true digital lens is a fixed output clock, uh, which is a means of, or a very slow moving output clock, and, and that enables the data to always come out at known low jitter rates, okay? So let's imagine that that's working. And let's imagine that it's fed from a hard drive, and over here it's fed from a CD drive. Theoretically, there shouldn't be any difference. And in fact, the, there is. And, and the reason for it, this is again my speculation. I, I can't sit here and show you graphs and charts and proof of why, but what we've been able to discover is that there are a couple of things going on. One is noise, and by noise, I mean 
radiated and electrical noise that differs depending on what's happening. Uh, and these, tra these noises travel through the grounds and they'll travel, you know, actually as through the air if it's a radiated signal. So Ted Smith, our, our digital guru, pointed this out to us in the first place. And, and damn if he wasn't right. If you take uh, a computer and you were to stick a sensor uh, into anywhere near this CPUs and all the stuff going on inside of a computer and listen to the, the garbage, the radiated garbage um, that happens at different levels uh, as it's computing, as it's drawing uh, information, as that information is passing through a bus, uh, whatever is going on, it, there's a plethora of noise and radiated interference that comes through. And if that's anywhere near a sensitive DAC, for example, it will cause jitter in the DAC, even though the signal itself is not jittered. That's a long explanation and probably not a very thorough one for which I apologize, but it'll give you an idea of where we're trying to go. And it'll also answer this question, which is from Ron, is there a difference? Yes. And our research and our engineering team are working hard with the ultimate goal of eventually making digital agnostic as to how it's stored or sent or recorded. It can happen. It will happen one of these days. We will get there. We're just not there now. Hope that helps. Thanks for the great question. Bye-bye. <music>